Fans of Filipino singer Marcelito Pomoy from the America's Got Talent, The Champions, called for justice by using the hashtag hashtag justice for Marcelito on social media as they accuse record executive Simon Cowell of allegedly being unfair to him on his final performance. The accusations came after a video featuring the singer himself revealed that the music team of the British judge producer chose the song that he performed, which received a cool reception from the critic. It seems it's not just Marcelito Pomoy that has lost out on judge support on a cowl show. This tweet mentions that many other singers from the Philippines have seen clear sabotage in the past, including X Factor's fourth impact. It's possible that Simon is worried that if Filipino stars win, the chances they will reach success over those in the UK or USA are low. We really hope this isn't the case because, over the years, it's been clear that Filipino power is strong. Maybe it is about time the superfans take that into consideration and judge from all angles. And even though the Filipino passion doesn't have a direct impact on the TV ratings, it does impact the online chatter. These overwhelming poll results are an example of this but so is Twitter, Marcelito said, they already chose a song for me and Simon said that he want to see different song not theater it's common. While Marcelito saying this you can see his facial reaction that he is not happy and very upset but despite of that he remains humble. He admitted to feeling apprehensive over the song that Cowell and his music team had allegedly chosen for him and added that all of the songs needed the particular judge's approval beforehand. With this, fans were anticipating his performance for the finals. He sang with his dual voice the classic love song Beauty and the Beast. Once again, he awed the audience and the judges as well. However, as he did it is again, Simon Cowell was a bit critic when he shared his reaction. However, he said, I think you have a massive career in front of you, I really do. Another thing that the YouTuber noticed was that Simon wore the same shirt both in semi-finals and finals. On the other hand, other judges were glamorously dressed because it is already the finals. He also theorized that Simon wore the same shirt in order for the production to interchange his comments. This line caught the attention of YouTuber John Master Lee. It is because Simon also said this line after the semi-finals performance of the Pinoy singer. Then, Lee said in his reaction video that Simon did not just say the same comment but the show used the exact same clip. By showing the arms of Judge Heidi Klum beside Simon Cowell, John Master Lee concluded that the comment that was faked was in semi-finals. AGT The Champions viewers have way in on their pick for the Season 2 winner almost half of them voted for Marcelito Pomoy on our recent survey This singer who won Philippines Got Talent as the clear audience favorites on this second edition on America's Got Talent The Champions he racked you a whopping 47% of the vote. The AGT Champions semi-finals performance video of Marcelito Pomoy, who sang Andrea Bocelli's Conte Partiro, Time to Say Goodbye, in both tenor and soprano voices switching instantly from one to the other, was posted on February 4, 2020, and went to top one spot on the day of its posting with over 5.7 million views. The video edged out the Shakira J.Lo Super Bowl halftime show for the top spot. The YouTube video titled, Marcelito Pomoy Sings, Con Te Partiro, with dual voices. America's Got Talent, the champions, introduced Marcelito Pomoy as delivering greatness and has since notched over 7.8 million views and is holding on to the top spot. The Pilipinas Got Talent champion, and now America's Got Talent champions finalist, went on social media to thank supporters noting the trending video. The AGT preview video of Marcelito Pomoy singing Time to Say Goodbye in dual voice for the semifinals show reached the top one trending YouTube chart with 1.5 million views on February 1, 2020. AGT social media introduced the preview video saying, this voice is just iconic. The 35-year-old Marcelito Pomoy of Surigao del Sur earned a final spot on America's Got Talent, champions after being voted a top third pick by the AGT superfans. Pomoy had the AGT judges praising his performance. And on his last performance he got more than 10 million views according to Marcelito Pomoy Simon Cowell as the one who chose the song for him. In the leaked video, the judges' comments were mostly positive after Pomoy's rendition of Beauty and the Beast. However, Cowell wasn't too impressed by Marcelito's song choice, calling it predictable. Here is Cowell's response in full. 
You are very nice, very talented guy, I gotta tell you. You really really are. And this was even better than the last performance you did. Much much better. However, if it was my choice, on a night like this, I would have done something less predictable. Simon's comments were interrupted by Alicia, doubting Simon's comments saying, how is that predictable? Of course, Cowell's comments were met with huge disapproval from the panel and audience. The songs he's chosen are very safe, I get it, you know they are popular songs. But I just think on tonight if he had done something out of his comfort zone, like a shock to everybody. As we know on Marcelito Pomoy's statement he said that Simon Cowell is the one who chose the song for him so why did he comment like that pretending that he doesn't even know the song for Marcelito, what do you think? A vlogger uploaded a video about the finale performance of Marcelito Pomoy on, America's Got Talent, he showed a strange moment when Simon Cowell was commenting on the singer's performance, the content creator claimed that a recycled clip was inserted into the grand finals video, many netizens also agreed with the observation of the said vlogger from other nation. A male content creator from another country did not hesitate to reveal something strange about the video of Marcelito Pomoy's finale performance on America's Got Talent. He showed some proof that the part where the said judge commented something positive was just recycled because of the similarities in words, gestures, and the background. He showed some proof that the part where the said judge commented something positive was just recycled because of the similarities in words, gestures, and the background. The content creator even put the videos during the semi-finals and grand finals on the same frame to show that there was something unusual with them. Because of the incredible observation, the hashtag, Justice for Marcelito, became even trending on various social media platforms. The last part when Simon says, you've got a massive career, is the exact same clip from the semi-finals. Same shirt, same background, same audience, same camera angle, same hand movements, a netizen commented. The management of AGT has yet to air their statement about the serious allegation against the said show. It seems it's not just Marcelito Pomoy that has lost out on judge support on a cowl show. This tweet mentions that many other singers from the Philippines have seen clear sabotage in the past, including X Factor's fourth impact. It's possible that Simon is worried that if Filipino stars win, the chances they will reach success over those in the UK or USA are low. We really hope this isn't the case because, over the years, it's been clear that Filipino power is strong. Maybe it is about time the superfans take that into consideration and judge from all angles. And even though the Filipino passion doesn't have a direct impact on the TV ratings, it does impact the online chatter. These overwhelming poll results are an example of this but so is Twitter, for more updates don't forget to click the subscribe button and bell notification you can comment below and suggest a video that you are curious about and it'll do the works for you have a good day.